Greetings everyone. Uh, today we have just a simple complex number here. We have to solve uh, this equation here. Um, z to the power of 8 minus 1 is equal to 0. So instead of uh, going through a lot of powers, we are going to use the complex numbers. Okay. So if I rewrite it here, I say um, z to the power of 8 minus 1 is equal to 0. We have to find a way uh, to say that z to the power of 8 is equal to 1 with uh, z to the power of 8 being a complex number. Let's call it w. So if w is equal to z to, to the power of 8, it is equal to 1 is also equal to 1 plus 0 i. i is the imaginary part, which is 0 in this situation. So, we know that the modulus in this situation will be uh, just uh, 1. Uh, we can simulate a calculation here. Say the modulus is equal to square root of uh, 1 squared plus 0 squared is equal to um, 1. So we don't have to worry about the modulus during the next uh, uh, calculations. So we have to concentrate on the polar form of uh, our uh, W. So we can say W is equal to uh, cosine 0 plus I sine 0 or sine 0 times I, I imaginary part. So we can express this one uh, using uh, the polar format and uh, the argument here is zero argument of w is zero okay so what we would do is we would rewrite w in the polar format we say w is equal to e to the power of um, zero plus e to the power of i factor in 0 plus 2k pi and uh, we know that uh, w is equal to z to the power of 8 so we have to find z now okay so to find z we have like eight possible values so we have to change k from 0 to um, 7 so you say z is equal to e to the power i times 2k pi over 8 in 8th root. So it is e to the power of i times k pi over 4 or p pi over 4 times k. So this is going to use we are going to make k change from 0 to uh, n, uh, 8 minus 1. That makes it uh, 7. So we will find 8 roots this way. So k will be changing from 0 to 1 to 2 until we get to 7. Okay, It's a long process, but uh, all the roots will be found this way. So if we take the example of k is equal to 0, we just replace it. z is equal to e to the i0, the cosine 0 plus i sine 0. So 1 plus 0 is 1. So k is equal to 1 will be z is equal to e to the power of i pi over 4. So cosine pi over 4 plus sine pi over 4. So that makes i, that makes it 1 over square root of 2 plus 1 of square root of 2 i. That is the second root. And we continue to the third root. So when k is equal to 2, we get z is equal to e to the power of i times 2 pi over 4.
All right, so 2 pi over 4 will be uh, pi over 2. So we will get z this equal to e to the power of i pi over 2 is a cosine pi over 2 plus i sine pi over 2. That makes it 0 plus i is equal to i. So that is the third root. Okay. That's the next root. Because k is equal to 3. So when k is equal to 3, we get the same same way. Z is equal to e to the power of i, 3 pi over 4, is equal to cosine 3 pi over 4, plus sine 3 pi over 4 times i, imaginary part. So, if you go to the um, unit circle, you will see that we get minus 1 over square root of 2 plus 1 over square root of 2 times i. That is our third root, our fourth root all the way. Now the next fifth root now, z is equal to e to the power of i 4 pi over, pi over 4. So that makes it e to the power of i pi. So that's cosine pi plus sine pi as imaginary. So cosine pi is equal to negative 1 and sine pi is 0. So that makes it negative 1 plus 0 is equal to negative 1. Good. Now the sixth root here k is equal to 5. The same way we get z is equal to e to the power of i times 5 pi over 4 is equal to cosine 5 pi over 4 plus i sine 5 pi over 4 is equal to negative 1 over square root of 2 minus 1 over square root of 2 i. Now the seventh root it k is equal to 6. We get z is equal to e to the power of i 6 pi over 4 that makes it e to the power of i, I 3 pi over 2 is equal to cosine 3 pi over 2 plus i sine 3 pi over 2 that makes it 0 minus 1 times i is 0 minus i is minus i okay so the last one now for k is equal to 7 we get z is equal to e to the power of i 7 pi over 4 is equal to cosine 7 pi over 4 plus i sine 7 pi over 4. That makes it 1 over square root of 2. minus 1 over square root of 2 times i. Now we are going to visualize this on the square on the um, unit circle to make things very clear. We have the 8 roots sitting on the unit circle and uh, if we have all the roots here we can rewrite them here to, uh, to see what they are. You can say we found 1, we found uh, 1 over square root 2 plus 
1 over square root 2 i we found i the next one and we found minus 1 over square root of 2 plus 1 over square root of 2i and then we found minus 1 and then we found minus square root minus 1 over square root of 2 minus 1 over, over square root 2i okay and then we found minus i and finally we found 1 over square root of 2 minus 1 over square root of 2i so if we uh, go to this uh, unit circle we see all these sitting um, 45 degrees apart or pi over 4 apart and uh, we will see all the eight roots Okay. There we go. You can see for zero, you can see the root is sitting there, and for pi over four, there's the root there, and then for pi over two, we have the root here, and then three pi over four. And then pi, 5 pi over 4, and 3 pi over 2, and 7 pi over 4. These are all the roots sitting on the unit circle. So if you had just divided the unit circle by 8 and uh, split it, you could graphically see the roots. Okay, thank you. See you next time.